Need a creative way to stand out? Or are you just looking for an excuse to create something cool that way your parents actually think you're doing something with your life? We're going to take After Effects and showcase how to create a creative title like this. Hey everyone, this is Jordan Berton, Sonduck Film. Drop a like on this video if you like learning and let's jump in. The first thing we're gonna do is take this basic title layer and turn it into this moving 3D cylinder of text. So to start out, we have our text layer and background layer. We need to make sure we have a background layer, otherwise the cylinder that we make will be see-through. As you can see, our title is at a 90 degree angle, and this is also necessary because the cylinder effect forces a certain angle. So what we need to do is highlight both of these layers, right click, select pre-compose, we'll name this title 1, make sure move all attributes is selected, then click OK. Once you have your pre-comp, double click to open it, then go to Composition, Composition Settings. Here, we need to change the dimensions of the composition to wrap tightly around our text so we can apply a motion tile effect to it. Once you have it nice and closed off, click OK. Back out of the pre-comp, highlight it, pre-compose it again, this time name it Motion Tile 1, then click OK. Now, open the Motion Tile pre-comp, go to Composition Settings, Set the dimensions to 1200 by 1920, then click OK. Highlight Title 1, press S for Scale, set its scale to 50%, press R for Rotation, and set the rotation to 90 degrees. Now go to Effect, Stylize, Motion Tile, then in the Effect Controls panel, increase the Output Width and Output Height until the text fills out the whole screen. For Tile Center, set the X value to 0, then adjust the Y value until your title is centered like this. This value could be different depending on your text. Go back to your main composition, highlight Motion Tile, set its rotation to negative 90 degrees, then go to Effect, Perspective, CC Cylinder. In the Effect Controls panel, set the render of the cylinder to be outside only, open Rotation, hold down the Alt key, Click the stopwatch for Y rotation, and in the effect controls panel type in time, asterisk, 25. Now you have this moving 3D cylinder of text. If you like the style of motion graphics in this video and you want a quick and easy way to add them to your projects with the click of a button, check out our brand new Pulse Pack. It includes over 150 stylized motion graphics to enhance your projects and make them stand out. With our easy to use Atom X extension, all you have to do is find a graphic you like and hit apply. Once it's out on the timeline, you can easily customize the composition with our simple to use control layers and edit the different elements to fit your needs. And just like that, you have a stunning custom composition to use in your projects. Check out the link in the description or visit sondukfilm.com for more info. Next, what we're gonna do is take our cylinder, duplicate it, and use the sphere effect to create our tunnel. First, highlight motion tile, press P for position, and set the Y value for position to 300. Then, right click the layer, select pre-compose, we'll name it to cylinder one, and click OK. Highlight cylinder one, then go to effect, perspective, CC sphere, and effect, stylize, CC vignette. In the Effect Controls panel, open Rotation for CC Sphere, set the X rotation to negative 90 degrees, and the radius to about 1200. Open Light, set Light Sensitivity to 400, Light Height to 75, and Light Direction to negative 50. Then, for the Vignette, set the Amount to 125, and Angle of View to 70. These options for the Lighting and Vignette are completely customizable, feel free to play around with the settings and change it however you want. Now that we have the first section of our tunnel set up, we'll start on our second by going to our project window, select Cylinder 1, Motion Tile 1, and Title 1, then press Ctrl D to duplicate them. Now on the timeline, duplicate Cylinder 1, highlight it, then hold down the Alt key and drag Cylinder 2 from the project window onto the duplicate on the timeline. Open Cylinder 2, Highlight Motion Tile 1, then hold Alt and drag Motion Tile 2 on top of it. Double tap the U key with the pre-comp highlighted to open the effects, then in the Expression Controls panel, change the time expression to be time asterisk negative 25. Lastly, open Motion Tile 2, highlight Title 1, then hold Alt and drag Title 2 onto it. 
This makes it so that we have another set of pre-comps with the same settings, but we can change them without adjusting the first set of pre-comps. Now highlight the text layer, click the swap fill and stroke button, set the stroke width to 3, then go all the way back to your main comp, highlight cylinder 2, and set the radius of its sphere to about 615. Highlight cylinder 1 and 2, duplicate them, move them to the bottom of the layer list, highlight the second cylinder 1, set its radius to 275, highlight the second cylinder 2, and set its radius to 115. Now we have this nice 3D tunnel using all of our cylinder layers. Finally, we're going to finish off our composition by adding a few post-processing effects. Start by highlighting all of the cylinders, pre-compose them, we'll name this pre-comp All, then click OK. Highlight the pre-comp, then go to Effect, Channel, Shift Channels, then in the Effect Controls panel, set Green and Blue to Full Off. Duplicate the pre-comp, then in the Effect Controls panel, set Red to Full Off, and green to green, then duplicate that pre-comp, set green to full off, and blue to blue. Highlight the top two layers, set their mode to screen, then take the top layer, move its position just a tiny bit to the left, and then take the bottom layer and move its position just a tiny bit to the right. This creates an offset RGB effect like this. Lastly, add an adjustment layer by going to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer, Highlight it, then go to Effect, Noise and Grain, Noise, and Effect, Distort, Optics Compensation. For Noise, set the amount to around 12%, uncheck Use Color Noise, then for Optics Compensation, set the Field of View to 70, and check Reverse Lens Distortion. And now you have this awesome moving 3D tunnel of text with some cool post-process effects layered onto it. Well, now that we can create something cool, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more tutorials every week, and remember, always be creating.